हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सॉल्विंग सम क्वेश्चंस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन और मैन्युफैक्चरिंग साइंस द टॉपिक इज मेटल मेटल कटिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन इज द टाइम टेकन टू ड्रिल ए होल थ्रू ए ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम थिक प्लेट विद ए विद अ ड्रिल रोटेटिंग एट थ्री हंड्रेड आर पी एम एंड मूविंग एट ए पी रेट ऑफ पॉइंट टू फाइव एम एम पर रेवल्यूशन ऑप्शन ए 10 सेकेंड ऑप्शन बी 20 सेकेंड ऑप्शन सी 60 सेकेंड ऑप्शन बी 100 सेकेंड सो हेयर द फीड इज गिवन एज पॉइंट टू एम एम टू फाइव एम एम पर रेवल्यूशन एंड द लेंथ ऑफ थिकनेस ऑफ द प्लेट इज गिवन एज ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम एंड आर पी एम ऑफ द डेल इज गिवन एज थ्री आर पी एम So as no uh, drill angle and no approach and no over travel is given, so we will neglect this quantity. So we will take only the length of the length of travel where the drill is equal to thickness of the uh, thickness of the, the hole to be drilled. Okay, so that is 25 mm. And feed uh, per revolution is given as 0.25 mm per uh, revolution. So if we multiply it by RPM, then it will be 75 by uh, 75 mm per minute. Okay. So now the speed is 75 mm per minute, and the distance the drill has to travel is uh, 25. So it will be it will take one by three minute or 20 seconds. So answer is option B. Next question number 38. For tool A, Taylor's tool life exponent is 0.45, and constant K is 90. Similarly, for tool B. n is equal to 0.3 and k is equal to 60 the cutting speed in meter per minute above which the tool a will have a higher uh, tool life than tool b is option a 26.7 option b 42.5 option c 80.5 and option uh, d 142.9 so for uh, Two a the n is point four five and k is given as ninety. So from Taylor's tool life equation we have v t n is equal to twenty. So t is your point four five and k is ninety for tool a. And for tool b the n is point three and k is sixty. So its tool life equation is v t is point three is equal to sixty. So now we can find out the Uh, uh, we we can assume the same uh, tool life and same speed at which the time at which uh, the tool life is same right? the speed at which the tool life is same for both the tools okay so we are assuming that uh, uh, speed of the uh, speed of the tool is then speed of the tool is b then tool life of the uh, tool a is t and uh, when the speed for uh, For uh, B, the tool life is T. So it means we are assuming same speed and same tool life for both. Okay. So now if we divide it by two, we can get this quantity okay, that we and T at which the tool life of both the uh, tool will be same. If we divide these two quantities, so we can we can figure out and T it will be T raised to the 0.5 minus 0.3 that is 90 by 60. So T raised to the 0.5 uh, 15. Is equal to three by two, or uh, from this uh, taking ln, and uh, we can find out t. So t is just fourteen point nine two five minutes. So now we can put in either of the equation, and uh, we can find out v. So v comes to the twenty six point six seven meter per second. Okay. So that is the speed at which the tool life for both the uh, tool is same. Okay. Now if we take suppose uh, we take uh, v more than this. Okay. More than this. Suppose we take V thirty. Okay. Now for A, we put thirty uh, and find out T. So T comes out as eleven point four eight eight. And for B, if we put V is equal thirty, T comes out as ten point zero seven nine. So it means uh, the tool life for uh, B is equal to thirty is uh, for tool A is more than the B uh, than B. So at uh, uh, at speed twenty six point six seven or more, okay, the tool life of A will be higher than the tool life of B. So answer is uh, 
twenty six point seven option A.